So here's the situation. So you and your buds have gone to the cabin for a month long hunting trip and there's no running water and it's kind of cold outside. About seven days in you realize you and your buddies stink. So today I'm going to be seeing if the ram pump can be used as a shower. So this was actually um, a video idea suggested about six months ago and it was uh, too cold out to test. So finally getting around to doing that. And I apologize, I don't remember um, the email that uh, asked this. Because I get about 10 emails a week, so <laughs> sorry. All right, let's get started. This past week I've been testing snifter valves with this little uh, half inch ram pump. And that's what we're gonna use today for this test of a shower. So I would recommend using the larger ram pump for an actual shower, but for testing, I think the half inch will be just fine. So here's the deal. I've got some copper tubing that I'm gonna be installing these threaded connectors on that I will be disconnecting the hose here and inserting uh, this copper tube. And then I'm gonna start a fire in here and we're gonna see if the hot water will go way up the hill um, as a shower. So let's test this out. So to get started, I've got this piece here, which will um, transition from this copper tube to the, uh, the flex pipe. So I'm gonna put this piece on first. Okay, and then this little sleeve goes on. Like that. And then this piece just screws in the other side here. And then I'm gonna use some wrenches here to get this tightened down. Okay, so the idea is use this old tire rim as the heating source or fire. And I'm gonna take this copper tube and hopefully be able to stretch it around the outside of this to uh, give us a nice protected place to heat up the water. That way it's not actually touching the flames and yet it's, uh, you know, in contact with this, so it should uh, be getting uh, nice and warm, so. Let's try and get this as close to touching this as I can here. good enough. We'll see how things go. So I'm going to keep these hopefully far enough away from this that the uh, you know, they won't melt. So maybe worth having longer pieces to get this done better, but we'll see. Okay, so now I got these plastic pieces that screw onto here. And they just simply slip into the hose. And I got this one. I'm gonna come around here on the back side and do the same with it. I'm gonna see if I can get a fire going here. Things have been rather dry lately, so this should move along pretty quick. Let me go start the pump so we can get water moving up here. So I've had a nice little fire going for about five minutes. Let's walk up here and see if there's any difference in the temperature of the water. Nah, still really cold. I think what we need is more wraps around that fire pit down there, which I don't really have any more of that too to do that. It's 
So I'm thinking since there's only one real wrap around there, one and a half, it's just not enough uh, surface area to really get a good uh, heating up going. So I need to go and buy some more of that uh, tubing to get a uh, better surface area before this is a valid shower because that water was still quite cold up there. Mm -hmm.